Heather lived life to the fullest, and she was very passionate about everything she did when she was doing it. That's what Heather taught us, is to keep the fight, keep the faith, always believe in yourself, and never, never give up. She had such charisma. When she played golf, it was like a whole new world for everyone to watch her. Well, she was a fighter, and um, like I said, a great competitor, and great attitude. Uh, never felt like, you know, why is this happening to me? She just made people around her feel good. Uh, she gave back. She was a giver. Heather, Heather Farr was a giver. Heather was one of the true icons of the AJJ that truly defined the early days of the organization. Her legacy will be class, courage, and spirit. Heather and I started playing golf uh, at a very young age. She just had an affinity for it and pretty quickly had some success. Being having the same instructor, I got to see Heather a lot hit, hit balls and, and all that. And I knew right away, even at a young age, that Heather was very different from everyone. Not just the way that she conducted herself and handled herself, but the way she hit golf balls and, and her determination was just something that was unbelievable. The, the one thing I will always remember watching Heather play on the tour is how she, her, her mannerisms. She was always, she always walked very authoritative. She walked straight up. Her head was high. You never could tell how Heather was playing. If you walked to her in the middle of a round, you didn't know if she was two under, two over, five over, five under, or how she was playing because she had the same look and used the same charisma all the time. And you don't see that in golf as much anymore. And I guess that to me is the one thing I remember the most about Heather is how, not only how great of a player she was on tour, but how she handled herself, the way she, she walked out there, and then how she kept her head high all the time. When she was 12, she won her st first state amateur title, uh, a women's championship, and kind of took everybody by surprise and was beating players that were seven, eight years older than her, um, good players, players at Arizona State. She went on to, she played in her first LPGA tournament when she was 14. She was low amateur at the US Open when she was 16, and I think finished 11th in the Open. Won three state high school championships, and along the way won two USJ championships and just found success at every level that, that she had and she fell in love with junior golf. I think that's really what sealed it for Heather that that's what she wanted to do because it was so much fun and she loved to win and she loved to compete but um, we both made some tremendous friendships along the way that I still have today my friends from junior golf in my AJJ years. Um, we played junior golf together in the late 80s before we all turned professional and she was extremely bright. I mean, she was the whole package, which was which was really kind of funny because she was this little tiny 5'1 and you just couldn't believe she had all this energy and this enthusiasm for life and for and for people she met and wanted to help. She was involved in every project. She was extremely fun loving. She hung around the guys as much as she hung around with, with the girls. She just had an infectious personality. She was so together. Uh, she was a wonderful speaker, she was very articulate, she had her goals in mind, she knew what she wanted, and she was a beautiful young woman. I was just so impressed with how she carried herself. She would be right there for you. She was just very generous in regards to that. I mean, you asked her to do anything, she would do it. She was very much a part of the student body, she went to dances, she did everything everybody did, but she at the same time was this world championship golfer. She just had an aura about her as a player. Uh, I don't know who to compare her to in this day, but she just she just seemed to have it all together as a junior golfer. The way she dressed, the way she carried herself, it was amazing. And, and that's what really first attracted me to the AJJ because these kids were just so impressive and she was certainly one of them. She could go to any college she wanted to on a full ride. Back then I think she was offered 20 full rides at any major university and she chose to stay home and, and um, in her years in ASU she were very successful and All-American and, and winning more tournaments along the way and that's when she won the Pub Links. I knew that that was someone that I really wanted to come to Arizona State and I knew that if she came to Arizona State that it would be a huge, huge hit for our program because of all the qualities that Heather, Heather had with her. Just being able to see every single day her work ethic 
how she practiced, how she played, how she interacted with the other players. She was very involved when she was a player on the team here. She was very interested in who we were going to recruit. She was a very social, fun person, and she wanted to make sure that I was recruiting the right players. We won several conference championships when she was on the team. We also always would finish in the top 10 at nationals. Uh, she was instrumental in that. Again, we were kind of rebuilding the program or just really starting the tradition of the program. She was a huge part of that. This small person who was 5'1 um, could, could take anybody on. And she was in a hurry to get to the tour and nobody could really understand why, but it just was her destiny. And, so she graduated from Xavier College Prep in three years and then went to college early and only stayed three years because she was ready to, she decided she was ready to turn pro. And after four years of playing the tour and loving it and each year having more success and, and being one of the, the strong young players on tour, she was struck with breast cancer at 24 and was told that, you know, 24-year-olds don't get breast cancer, and so unfortunately there was some time that was passed before she was diagnosed, which cost her valuable time in her life. Uh, she fought for four years. She did ungodly treatments and everything in between to try to, to fight, to, to, to beat breast cancer, and time and time again, no matter what she did, it kept coming back, and it, it took her at the age of 28 after bone marrow transplants and chemo and radiation of all kinds and, and she tried and she did she faced cancer with the same determination that she faced her career and with courage and dignity and I think that's why she continued to have so many people follow her story because she did it with out a why me uh, thought she did it as okay this is what I have to endure and I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it when she was diagnosed with the cancer and she started going through treatment, you didn't see anything different in her. You saw even more so her fight and her determination. You saw in her, I'm going to beat this, I'm going to beat this. And that was a positive attitude that was just instilled in her. I swear to God, she was born with that positive attitude. There are 15 surgeries in all. I mean, a mere mortal would have given up, you know, way before that. She, she never lost touch, never lost faith that she was going to beat this disease. And, and that's, that's what inspired me the most. I remember having breakfast with her for the last time. <laughs> I really thought she was going to make it. She, uh, she convinced me that she was going to be okay and that she was going to beat it. And unfortunately, she didn't. But we miss her. And it seemed like just yesterday that we lost her. Um, but she was special to so many people, and we, we loved her, and, and I miss her very much. I think about her a lot. Heather would not want to be remembered for being a breast cancer victim. She'd want to be remembered for the wonderful things she did uh, on and off the golf course and, and remembered for her great qualities that hopefully she continues to inspire other junior golfers. You know, Heather inspired so many people, especially in the greater Phoenix area that a group of her closest friends came together and put together a golf event to raise money with the sole purpose of bringing an AJGA event to the Phoenix market. And the Heather Farr Classic was born. And it's a great junior golf tournament. It's meant so much to so many people. Um, the event moved to Longbow Golf Club in 2004. Uh, Wind Grips has gotten involved, the Phoenix Thunderbirds. Um, so many people in this valley have pulled together all to help this wonderful AJGA golf tournament and also to honor the Heather Farr name.